That means it's time to wake up. Hello everybody and welcome to the most amazing vlog you will ever see. This week is scan week. Right now it is Sunday, February 20, no, not 20, 2nd, February just 2nd, just 2. Let me give you a rundown of what's going to be happening this week. On Monday I have a PET scan. On Tuesday I have an MRI of my rib and I also have an appointment with radiation. And then on Friday, I have a bone density scan, which is kind of like an x-ray thing. My last MRI and my last PET scan were in August, um, after I had finished chemotherapy. And so, um, this is just going to be an update after I finished radiation. And the reason for the bone density scan is my oncologist just wanted to order it because I'm on some medications that can hurt my bones and stuff, so he just wants to have like a baseline before I keep going on this treatment so that he'll be able to compare it whenever I have bone problems, if I have bone problems. Hopefully I won't have bone problems. <laughs> right now I am waiting for Gray to pick me up because we are going to church. So that is the first thing actually on the schedule if that counts later today it's the super bowl and if you are not from the united states the super bowl is the big football game where it's like the championship or something i don't really know i don't know who's playing but it's a big deal there's all these commercials and stuff that's the fun thing to watch i don't really watch the football and then you eat just like a bunch of appetizers and snacks and stuff. Oh, that reminds me, I can't eat all of the snacks because I have my pet scan tomorrow. Look how cute he looks today. Yeah, look how cute I look today. There are some restrictions that I have to have on my diet before I have a pet scan, 24 hours before the pet scan. So my pet scan on Monday is at 10 a.m. And um, right now it's 10.50 a.m. So I'm already in the window of having these dietary restrictions. The restrictions are 48 hours out. Not because I ate some dumplings last night. I have to only eat things like uh, meat, cheese, butter, eggs, and green vegetables. I think that's all, right? And you're supposed you to basically no no carbs. No carbs. You're supposed to avoid sugar and like bread. You know, carbs. carbs. <laughs> is that every time I've gone in for PET scan, which has been two times so far, they have told me that my blood sugar is too low and they give me orange juice to drink right before the scan. But it's not good orange juice. They have crappy orange juice. Their orange juice sucks. So I'm like kind of... Bring your own. I'm kind of thinking of bringing my own orange juice. And um, four to six hours before the scan, I'm not allowed to eat anything. I can only drink clear liquids. So... Vodka. Water. <laughs> but the trick is, tonight is the Super Bowl. Right. Yeah. But tonight is the Super Bowl, and that's when you normally eat a bunch of snacks and stuff. So, um, that kind of sucks. But, Gray is making chicken wings. Which don't have carbs in them. Which is okay to eat. Yeah. And he makes a great garlic parmesan sauce and garlic parmesan and mayonnaise are all fine to have. So yeah, we're on the way to church and probably not gonna film in there, but maybe we'll film some of the wing yeah, the wing making. Wings and jalapeno poppers, uh, chips and dip. My dad likes those ridiculous little smokies sausages. I think we're making dumplings, like just frozen dumplings, I think. Yeah. You're making dumplings? Yeah, like pot stickers or gyoza or whatever the difference is. I'm definitely gonna eat some of that. You can't eat some of that. No, you can't do that. Too bad. You can eat the jalapeno poppers, right? Yeah, but I can't eat spicy things because I'm Samantha. We could get green bell peppers and I could make bell pepper poppers. <gasps> Yeah, I could do that for sure. I didn't think about that. But oh, you man. have to remind me to do that on the way back from church. Alright, so that's another fun thing to add to this adventure. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to church now. Don't tell anyone that this is happening. Yeah, wait, no, you can't! <laughs> no, you're not allowed to do that! You're gonna die! They're gonna tell you you have not? They're gonna tell you you have cancer. Your scan's gonna come back as you're having cancer. <laughs> 
Yeah. Or it's not going to detect and it's lots one. of cancer. You got. You can't do that. It's I'm not just allowed. helping out the Girl That's Scouts. That's illegal. You're setting a bad example for the people who watch these videos. Who my think blood that, sugar. Oh, I always... just eat, I need Girl Scout cookies before my PET scan. I don't have to do what the doctors tell me. Listen to your doctors. No. You're a bad example. People watch this channel for your wisdom and maturity. I don't have any maturity. Tomorrow's the big day. The big pet scan. Woohoo! I am currently drinking lots of water. Because then hopefully they'll be able to get my vein when they give me the IV. And then they need to be able to do it again the next day when they give me the contrast stuff for the MRI. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Got my trusty water bottle here to keep me hydrated so that they can find my veins, hopefully. I'm probably not gonna vlog too much in the hospital, but you know, I'll do a nice little montage thing. Hello, everything went well. I mean, I don't really know the results of the scan because I don't have them yet, but the scan was fine. They got my um, IV in on the first try and the guy told me that they had just gotten new little IV needle thingies and he didn't really know how to use them yet. So I was impressed with him to be able to get it on the first try. Right now I'm just kind of waiting in the parking lot of Tropical Smoothie. At this point I don't really know why I'm not sponsored by Tropical Smoothie. I don't know if I'll get a call later today about my results or if I'll just have to wait until my appointment tomorrow with radiation because she's the one that ordered my scans. Now it's just the nerve-wracking part of waiting for the results. I'm sure they're fine. And I'm just tired. You know, scans just kind of wear you out. Look at all this mango pineapple deliciousness right now. You guys, I got home just now and I just remembered that I have Girl Scout cookies. So I'm gonna eat them because I can now. This is all really exciting. I just filled out my form for my MRI and it was really cool because you can do it online now and I definitely wasn't able to do that with any of my other ones, so that was cool. And yeah, so I don't really have any big preparation I have to do for that other than that form. So I can eat whatever I want now, so I'm gonna go eat some Girl Scout cookies because they are really good. All right, bye. I didn't vlog in the MRI because I can't take anything into that room. It's different than the PET scan where I like took a picture of it and stuff. I was in the MRI machine for three and a half hours. I got 15 minutes of not where they, you know, tried to stab my arm in like a bunch of different places so that they could put the contrast stuff in. The first time they tried to stab me, blood just shot out and down my arm. So that was really fun. Second time they stabbed me, the vein blew, and so then they had to try a third time. It was in the bruise where they did my injection yesterday for my PET scan, so that kind of hurt a little bit, but they finally got it. I got there at 9, and I finished the MRI at 12.30. <laughs>
12.39. That's how long it took. I missed my radiation appointment because it was at 11. They were able to see us still. But they didn't have the results of the MRI <laughs> because they took so long. It was so bad. They had the results of the PET scan, which were great. There was, an, uh, what, did it, what did it say, Gray? You have the words on your phone? Oh. Or do you not just know what it said? Oh, no, I... What's the term? Get the term down. It started with an No M. evidence of uh, some malignancy. Alright, no evidence of metabolically active malignancy. I just got a call a little while ago, <laughs> like 30 minutes ago. And they said that there was a bunch of stuff around the rib that looked like was all radiation. All from radiation, apparently when you get radiation a bunch of stuff shows up on scans and things, which is why you have to wait a certain period of time before you can get scans because the radiation just shows up on everything. Um, so there was a bunch of leftover radiation stuff and then they said that the spot on my rib looked a lot smaller. That was good, but the other thing that she said was you probably don't need to do those MRIs anymore because they don't really help us. So that kind of annoyed me. Wait, you didn't like that? <laughs> but I just did that whole MRI. Yeah, but now they know it's not really helpful, so they'll not do so many in the future. Yeah, that was, that was nice. That was very nice. It's just kind of sad that I was there for three and a half hours and when I got out of there they were like hey we made a whole new protocol just for you so it won't take three and a half hours next time it usually takes one and a half hours which is longer than it's supposed to take it's like the MRI appointment they always set up for me to be 45 minutes long and the last the first two that I had took an hour and a half and so I always know it's gonna be longer than 45 minutes, but I was not expecting three and a half hours. Three hours straight of sitting in the mesh, that machine, where it's just going Sometimes it goes like That's what MRI sound like. I kind of had a breakdown in the middle of it. Yeah, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, <laughs> they don't need to do those MRIs really anymore. They're just gonna look at the PET scans because I'm still gonna get PET scans and if stuff shows up on the PET scan, then they'll do MRIs. How was your blood sugar for the PET scan? Oh, it was normal. I didn't have to have orange juice. Was it too high? No, it was normal. It was a normal range. It was, the normal range is like 70 to 99, and I think it was 79. No, good thing you ate that cookie. I know, right? Good thing I ate that cookie. That was probably the difference. Thank you, Girl Scouts of America. Also, today is National Cancer Day. Yeah, it's Tuesday, February 4th, so it's... Find someone you love it, and give What's it them... exactly? It's like cancer awareness or... I think it's just National, National Cancer Day. National Cancer Day, okay. So find a friend, give them cancer. <laughs> um, so yeah, good news on the scans. That's basically all I have. I still have that one bone density scan later on Friday, but right now I'm dead. And I complained to Gray for how long? A large chunk of time. A large chunk of time in the car about how awful my experience today was. If you guys ever want to test your self-control, go get an MRI and sit in the machine without moving at all for three hours and see if you can take it. Also, have hot flashes in the middle of that. That made it really bad. And then I was freezing because it's freezing in there. And then I was sweating. It's a good time. Really good time. And then my... Uh, Appointment with radiation went really well, like she showed us the PET scan results and then they were like trying to come up with reasons why I'm fatigued and they said that I should try to exercise more and that might help my fatigue and also to drink Gatorade because I could be losing a lot of electrolytes when I have diarrhea from all the chemo and stuff. So 
That might have been TMI. If you have a crazy, dumb medical suggestion that has nothing to do with actual medicine, please leave it in the comments. We love to hear those. <laughs> yeah. We love to hear how I should be eating dog food yeah. to cure cancer. That's right. Pyramid water. Pyramid water. Essential oils. Essential. <laughs> Yoga. They cure cancer. You know how they think that everything causes cancer? At least like if you live in California. Well, yeah, apparently yeah. everyone's got an idea of something that cures cancer too, so. Yep. If you know how to cure cancer, um, tell us and then tell a doctor. Don't keep it to yourself. That's selfish. <laughs> if you figured out some way to cure cancer that billions of dollars haven't figured out and all the doctors haven't figured out, <laughs> please, there. We're dying to hear it. Hello, it is the next Tuesday now, and uh, so it's been a week since the last clip you've seen, I think. I filmed some stuff before then on Friday after my uh, bone density scan, but the video kind of got corrupted or something, and I, it's, I can't put it in. <laughs> so basically, just to recap, I went in for the scan. It was super, super easy. I just laid on a table and then this little scanner x-ray thing just went on top and scanned my body and I had to sit in a few different positions but it was super fast, super easy, way better than an MRI when you're in an enclosed space. Basically they said that I'm already showing signs of low bone density so I've got some osteopenia which is not as serious as osteoporosis but it's like not as good as having healthy bones either, so it's kind of like in the middle of those two things. The letrozole and the Zolodex is what's really causing this. Basically, they just want me to continue taking the calcium supplements and the vitamin D that they have already prescribed. They're gonna keep giving me the Zometa. If you want more information on all the medication I'm taking, I've got another video about all of that. So it's more detail into why I'm taking certain things. And then the other thing that they said is to try to do some more exercise because that can preserve some bone strength and whatever. Anyway, I'm a little bummed that my bones aren't really dense, but it's fine. I filmed a little clip yesterday because I thought that that was gonna be the end of this video because I didn't think that I was gonna get any news that I'd need to update you on on the bone density scan, but there was some news. So sorry this is a little bit confusing, but now I'm gonna go back to that video that I filmed yesterday so that I can close out this vlog. <laughs> so all my scans went really well. They called me again and they told me the plan from now on is just going to be to have a PET scan every six months. Um, I also have a breast MRI in May, so I'll have those as well every so often. The MRI showed that there was a lot of radiation around the rib and that the spot was smaller but it's really kind of hard to tell. There's not like a significant amount of evidence that there's cancer there so it's looking really really good. Why did the MRI take three and a half hours? I'm not sure I completely explained that. It didn't have to do with me like moving around or anything. They just needed to keep doing more things to make sure that they checked everything thoroughly which I'm really thankful for but also <laughs> it's completely unreasonable to ask someone to sit in an MRI for that long. Yeah, it's all really, really good news. Like I said, nothing showed up on the PET scan, and then the MRI looked really, really good. So that's basically the best news that I can hope for at this point, because, I mean, obviously there's going to be some stuff that shows up on the MRI because we just blasted that rib with radiation, so... They said that it's never going to look normal. It's always going to look weird compared to the other rib because we did that with the radiation. So yeah, really the only way to tell if there's gonna be more cancer is to check the PET scan. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm really happy, good news. Uh, I hope you're happy too. <laughs> I hope everyone has a great week. Any questions you can leave in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. Send this video or any of my videos to anyone that you think needs to see them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so tired right now. I, I just like, yeah. Okay, that's all. Bye.